What's up guys? Welcome back to Grafting Dragon Fruit. It's Richard and in this video today I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my Ecuador Pelora when it had the thrift infestation on my plant. So if you guys haven't already seen that video I actually had a pest problem with thrips. They were eating at all of the new growth and the buds were getting scarred from them and it was just causing total damage and it really backed my plant, reversed it, and wasn't even doing any growth, and the buds were looking so ugly. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave it down here so you guys can know what I'm talking about, but this video today is going to be an update of how the pesticide work. So if you guys remember, I used Spinosad to spray my plant, and after the first spray, I did start to see improvement, but after three days, I came out to check again to see if all of the thrips were gone and I saw a little bit left. So after three days, I went back out and sprayed with more Spinosad. So that was two applications that I did to help remove the rest of the thrips that were still there. And ever since that second application, I haven't seen any more on my plant. And that makes me so happy. And that's why I'm making this update video, guys, to show you guys how I know all of the thrips are gone. So when you first encounter thrips, what you're going to see is little stubs of new growth callousing and eventually turning into hardwood and not even growing. So here is some that I can give an example to you guys. These were the ones that were affected by thrips. So right here, this is what happens. They're going to start to try to grow. And as the new growth tries to grow, they eat at all of the tips and it prevents it from growing. And eventually, because they bite it so much, it callous like this and becomes like a scab on the plant. And from there, it just doesn't do anything. You have a dead node that never even made it to new growth. This, from the last video, these were the examples that I used and there was actually even thrips on them. So this one got so badly damaged by thrips, this one right here, that it's not even trying to put out new growth. These two here, were being damaged by thrips, but because I came and I sprayed them with the Spinosad, I think that kind of saved them at an early stage. I really thought that these three branches here were totally done because they were the most, uh, the ones that had the most signs that thrips were there. On this plant, because it was right next to it, they can fly if they want to and they can travel and go to another plant that they like and lay eggs and hatch and the cycle starts all over. So both of my Pelora here got the thrips and for some reason I've noticed that they've only attacked Megalanthus. So that's the genus of this type of, of variety. They are Megalanthus and even here you guys can see that, <laughs> wow here's a really good example. This one was damaged by the thrips here. You can see it's all scabbed and scarred up. But if you guys look even closer on the top of that, there's actually a new growth growing there. So even if they turn to this state, they can still push out new growth if they really tried, if they're healthy enough. So that was really cool. So the signs that showed me that there was no more thrips is you're going to start seeing growth like that. And on top of that, you're going to see more new growth everywhere that's not damaged and not slowing down anymore. So you guys can see the Ecuador Pelora now. The last time, there was no new growth and we were in the middle of dragon fruit season. During dragon fruit season, so many new growths are put out, I constantly have to trim them. But the, when the thrips were on here, I wasn't getting any new growth at all. And I was even getting buds that were being damaged by the thrips. And this is what the damage looks like when the thrips gets to your fruits, your buds. So at a young stage, when you're just little buds, they'll start to, you know, bite on it, just like how I was telling you guys with the new growth, and they will leave these scars. And these scars don't go away even after the fruit ripes. This Ecuador Pelora will turn yellow, but it will be yellow with brown spots all over it. And you're going to think that it looks sick or something got infested with it, like a disease, but it's actually just scabs from pests eating at the buds and the fruits. So it's not cool to have the risk because they really, really slow down the progress of your dragon fruit. And the whole season, if you don't treat them, they can literally put a stop to your dragon fruit growing. There'll be no new growth. And the buds that are growing, they'll grow, but if they eat it at it in enough and bite it enough, the buds will get weak and eventually abort. And if they do make it, they're going to look like something like this, where it's all scabbed up. 
and once it ripes, it just look not appealing to eat. So it's very important that you guys treat these thrips. But now, everything is good. Everything is, all the thrips are finally gone. And I still come out here every two to three days or when I'm out here tending to my garden, I look very closely. As you guys saw from the last video, the thrips video, they're as small as a grain of rice. I would say like a piece of dirt and they would move only when you would blow at them. So you would catch me out here, going out here looking like this, see if I can see any thrips and I would blow at it like that to see if any thrips would try to run away. They respond very well to when you touch the plant or when you blow at it, they'll start to just move everywhere. But now they're super happy. Even this trellis has a lot of new growth here. Look at all these new growth, you guys. It even recovered from a damaged branch that the thrips has gotten. And now I have a new set of wave of buds popping off everywhere. They're even growing in pairs. Here's a pair of twins here. We have more buds over here. And we even have buds on this trellis. And here is another set of twins. So yes, two buds can actually grow at the same node. So that was very cool. And the plant on this one, the fruit, this Ecuador Flora is gonna be ripening in the next month or so, but the fruit's getting a lot bigger. And I'm just so happy that they're gone because I did not want it to happen to all of my other dragon fruits. So it was great to see that the spinosad works. So if you guys have that problem like I did, believe in the process, use spinosad. It will completely remove the thrips and it will save your plant and your dragon fruit speed will start to grow fast all over again all right guys oh, so i hope you guys enjoyed this updated video if you're still having like trouble with thrips or anything like that let me know in the comments and if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys like the update hit that like button and if you guys haven't subscribed yet and you guys haven't turned on that notification turn it on so that way you guys won't miss a single thing and i'll see you guys in the next episode of grafting dragon fruit peace